Alright, here we go. Hey everybody, my name's uh, my name's Carl. I'm an IS, uh, clearly an ISU student. I play trumpet, so close to the trombone, but uh, it's close. <laughs> but uh, music education major. Uh, I'm a fifth year senior now because that's Super how the program senior. works. Pardon? Super senior. Oh, well, it's the way the program works, I guess. So I'm not like held back. <laughs> but uh, beyond that, uh, some things about me: I like reading comics and uh, I enjoy playing ultimate frisbee. I don't know. Oh. So uh, who are all of you? So I can write your names down and figure out. Um, I'm Wyatt. Wyatt? Okay. Misa. Misa? Okay. Joe. Where is it? <laughs> Joe. Joe? Okay. Oh. I'm Andrew. Andrew? Yep. And? And I'm Ty. Ty? T-Y. T-Y. Where'd your Darth Vader mask go? <laughs> oh, that's alright. So. Alright, well, uh... I can't really play with Andrew Joe. Alright, uh... First Okay guys, so uh, we're just going to start off with a couple of short warm-up kind of things. So if you guys would like to, uh, if you guys could uh, set your trombones down, like, uh, just watch out for the paint and stuff. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to do some breathing exercises. So what we're going to, uh, so what I'd like you guys to do is, um, we're going to breathe in for four, and then out for four, and while we're breathing in, just make sure you're taking all that time to breathe in. Go all the way up like this with your arms, and then when you're exhaling, out, okay? We'll do four, uh, in four, out four. In four out eight, in four out twelve, then we'll go backwards. So in four out, in four out eight, in four out four. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I'll just I'll help you guys out. So just make sure we're doing our metered breathing with our hands. And one, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, and out. Two, four, and eight, and one, two, three, out for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. In four four one two three out four twelve one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in for four out for eight one two three four and out two three four in four four out four four one two three four and out two three four all right, thanks everybody. Shake it out if you, in case you got dizzy or anything. But uh, yeah, so I guess just make sure that while we're breathing, we're really trying to get to the ends of our phrases with nice full breaths, but also making sure that we can get to the end of our like trombone lines with a good like breath, even at the end of those. All right, uh, if you can pick your trombones up now, gonna move into some uh, quick warm up stuff. Um. All right, so uh, same kind of, it sounds like your concert F exercise that you did. Uh, if we can just start out on that one more time, like the Remington, ba -da -da, cool, uh, in half notes. So same thing as you guys did before, and I'll stop you. And one, two, ready, go. Sorry, maybe I wasn't clear enough. We'll do it in half notes, though. Uh, is that different from what you guys do, or? Whole notes? Let's do it in half notes for my sake, okay? One, two, ready, go. Alright, thanks everybody. Um, so, uh, so is the name of your show entitled Wait? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, I mean, uh, I was looking at the first movement and it seems like uh, it's in G minor, but we're going to play the, uh, the relative major scale to G minor. So, we're going to play the B flat major scale to get used to our two flats. Is that okay? Yeah. Here we go. Uh, let's start. Uh, let's just play our B flat major scale. All the way up. Uh, we'll do it in quarter notes first. Uh, And don't repeat the top note, okay? Here we go. B flat scale, hands up. And five, six quarter notes. And down. Hold the last note. Sustain it. 
key match and pitch. All right, thank you. All right, good job, everybody. Um, one more time. We'll do it in eighth notes this time. Five. Oh, six. Five, six, seven, eight. rougher for you guys to do any slurs because uh, we can't slur on the trombone too well or else we'll, we'll, we'll smear everything. So we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll move on into wait now. So do you have your music with you? Yeah. Alright, good. I mean, uh, I don't expect you guys to necessarily look at it the whole time, but I'll need to reference it at times. So, alright. <coughs> alright, so, uh, let's start off. Your first entrance, your first entrance is at 25, correct? Okay, so, uh, let's, uh, just... We'll play from 25. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll start at 25. We'll go uh, 25 to 30, okay? Why does it come out of the trees? Because all the pit stuff is so compact. It looks like the doctor's really awesome. Get a feel for the tempo. Right at 25, all the way through measure 30, okay? And 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, very nice. You can relax. Um, just one thing that I would uh, like us to do. Uh, could we play that in separate parts? Where, do our, where are my first trombones? Okay, uh, first trombones this time. Here we go. And horns up. 5, 6, Five, six, seven, eight. All right, thank you. Uh, just really be mindful of uh, our dynamics. I think, I think that's the biggest thing in this little uh, sm small section right here. So we'll help. Uh, we'll just try to make sure that our, our dynamics are coming out nice and clear, okay? Second time, can I have you this time? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Um, second trombones, I can get, I, I'd like a little bit more dynamic contrast from you all, okay? Uh, just make sure that we're making our mezzo pianos and our jumps to mezzo forte a little bit more apparent. Is that okay? Um, can I have everyone in this time? I'll slow it down a little bit. Let's focus on really bringing out the dynamics, okay? I'll slow it down real, uh, pretty slow this time. Uh, really go for that mezzo, port, uh, mezzo piano and mezzo forte, okay? Five, six... Five, six, dynamics. Very nice. And what I'd like us to do is uh, make sure that our release in measure 31 is like very clear. Like, what I like to think of is um, like my notes being like uh, like bricks on a wall, sort of like. There's a clear start to a brick, and there's a clear end to a brick. Does that make sense? It doesn't trail off. So just make sure that our, um, that our sound really does have that, like, stark release at the very end. Cool? Let's do that one more time up to tempo. And uh, in, 20, in 29 and 30, where we're crescendoing those two bars, uh, just really make sure we're going... Uh, we're not only crescendoing, but we're having, like, we're driving the phrase, okay? I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, maybe, like, energizing the note with dynamics, but also, like, like power. Does that make sense a little bit? Yeah. Alright, here we go. And 25. And 5, 6, 25. Here we go. Energize. And yeah. Nice. Nice job on the release that time. Alright, we'll move on this time. Um, let's start at 38 and we'll go uh, from 38 through 48. <coughs> let's go through that once really quick. And 38, 5, 6, 38.
Okay, and that all is that is that released on three or is it on the end? I, I know it's written on the end of three, but is he having you release on three or on three? On three. So silence on three, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, then we'll just go for that then. Um, in 44 and 45, what's our dynamic there still? Right. I was kind of lagging a little bit of dynamics there. So let's make sure that as soon as we get up to the forte in measure 40, that we're uh, driving that uh, dynamic all the way through the rest of the, uh, the section, okay? Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, can I get uh, just measure 40? We'll loop measure 40. Um, really trying to get uh, that rhythm solidified, okay? Here we go. Measure 40. Uh, we'll just play measure 40. Uh, rest of four, measure 40 again, we'll keep looping it. And five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, keep looping. Re be really mindful of the accents. 40. Yep, last time. All right, very nice. Yeah, so just make sure that we're energizing the notes. Can someone tell me what we mean by accents? Right. I so, saw like what I'd like like I wouldn't don't think about like punching them necessarily just maybe like emphasizing it. There you go. All right. Uh just making sure that we have a little bit of emphasis. Um All right, let's put uh that rhythm in context now um with the whole thing and make sure that we're uh still driving our dynamics at a forte, okay? Here we go. Horns up. And uh 38 all the way through uh, 48 this time. Release on three. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Still at a forte. Keep that forte. Yep. And, uh, everyone. It's alright. Uh, for my sake, can we just do, um, that last sustain, starting in measure 47. Off on three. Oh, we got my camera. That's still recording. <laughs> um, for my sake, can we just do uh, starting in measure 47? Here we go. Let's get that release nice and clear on beat three. Horns up. And five, six, four. Good, Joe? Yeah. All right, here we go. And 47. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Good job on the release. Uh, let's put it all in context now. Uh, make sure that we keep going for that forte, because I came across that second time very nicely. Uh, and make sure we release on three. Here we go. Horns up. And 38. That whole section. Five, six. Oh, let me check my tempo. Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight. Keep it forte, please. Good. Yeah, hey, much better. So yeah, you guys really uh, got that release. And uh, as long as we can keep driving that forte, uh, it'll keep the energy of the music up, too. All right. Uh, now, on to 63. How's that? How's that look? <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. Um, I know. Um, I know it's slurred. You guys are just legato tonguing that, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I would just make sure that, um, especially with like the accents, maybe think about like whenever I have to do legato tonguing, I think of do like do 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 do. So maybe in this case. Yeah. What's that? I do like a doodle. Yeah, like, oh, doodle tonguing, too? Yeah. yeah, and that's another technique that I know trombonists use. So, I mean, um, I think even though you're legato tonguing, make sure that that accent comes out in front, though, okay? Whether it's do doodle or just make sure that you're stressing that accent at the beginning of that stuff. So let's really go for those accents in this uh, section at 63 to 67, okay? 63 to 67, horns up. And five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Thank <laughs> you.
two, nice. And big fat note, right? Yeah. We have a whole quarter note. It's no, not just an eighth note. Let. I mean, I don't know about. So let so let's have the trombone section be the first one to always play it that way, okay? Sure. <laughs> uh, we're let's slow down F63. Here we go, slowing it down at 63. Uh, still going after the accents. They were better this time. Just make sure that it, I mean, the phrase helps that. The way the, the music's written helps out with the accents. Just really make sure that it comes across. And big fat note in 67, okay? Yeah. Here we go. And slowing it down a lot. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. much clearer that time. Speeding it up a little bit this time. Here we go. Horns up. And 63. And 5, 6. 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> kind of someone kind of jumped the beat that time, but uh, it's all good. Um, what else can we, uh, not what else, but... Movement 2. What's that? Movement 2. I don't even have Movement 2. I'm, we're only working on Movement 1 today with you guys. No, so, uh, so. going to keep speeding two. up. Let's keep speeding up that section. Uh, I think... Are they really weird, like, trombone slide positions for you, like, to move through, or is it hard? The only weird position is really a fifth position, which is that. Okay. Um... I guess like, is it just uh, what uh, what's giving you guys the most trouble? Like the tonguing that fast or? Yeah, I think tonguing that fast. Okay. Um. All right, let's try 63 one more time. Yeah, moving, and moving your slide that fast is a little trick. What's that? Moving our slides that fast. Oh really? Moving and finding all the positions. I mean, the positions kind of fall together. You just gotta know when to tongue, when your hand is in what position. Yeah. All right, let's try that one more time then. We're gonna keep. You gotta connect your hand to your mouth. We're gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna keep. Here, you guys. Uh, we're gonna keep just speeding it up and trying to get better at it. Okay. I mean, if it ta if if anything, we can always uh, take it back a little bit. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> that we're off on four though. One, two, all, oh, whoops, one, two, play, off. Cool? Can I try just that last measure? That last measure, 67. Off on four, big fat note on three. One, uh, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, off on four. One, two, ready, go. One, two, off. One, I'm gonna keep looping that measure. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, here we go. Long note. Last time. I'm losing my ability to snap quickly. <laughs> but, uh, alright, let's put that in context now with 63, okay? Uh, speeding it up a little bit, and horns up. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Can we get a nice clear start though? There seems like, there seems to be a little bit of fuzz when we start our phrase. Here we go, horns up. Let's make sure we have a nice clear start. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. You guys hear how there was like a lot less junk at the beginning of our sound when we started? Okay, uh, let's try that up to tempo now. And horns up. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight.
thing that's really catching us off guard, though, is um, that first, the first like three notes they're playing, da da da, or da da da. Uh, as long as we can get those a little bit clearer, because you guys warm up into the phrase, and I don't want you warming up in, into the phrase. I'd like us to just like be nailing it right off the bat. Yeah. Here we go, one more time. Five, uh, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> That came across a lot clearer. It's hard work though, right? Uh, so let's make sure we're going for that. Um, with the one minute that we do have, can we just run 72 to the end really quick? 72 to the end. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll do 72 to 76 and then it'll speed up. Let's just play the downbeat to 76 when we get there, okay? 72 and... Five, six, five, six, seventy-two. One, two. Oh, shit. You guys play at 68, don't you? Yeah. I'm sorry. Let's start at 68. Sorry, trombone twos. Here we go. 68 for trombone two. And you guys join in when you guys come in, okay? Uh, five bars later. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. keeping your dynamic down uh, throughout. Um, good mezzo piano and good piano when you guys started out. Um, only thing that I would ask for is just make sure that our uh, slide changes and our like lip changes are really accurate because we're kind of, I, I don't want to use smear because that talks, that's more with your slide, but like we're not changing with the note with every half note, especially in measures uh, 72 to, through 76. Does that make sense? It's kind of, we're all kind of like reacting to the, to the to the music instead of like knowing exactly when each half note occurs, okay? Let's try that one more time from 68, second trombones, horns up, and five, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Very clear changes. a lot clearer that time. Um, so just really make sure that we're going for uh, nice clear changes in our notes. Because otherwise we just sound like a sloppy trombone section. And you guys are in a sloppy trombone section. Um, let's finish it out. Well, <laughs> There's no exodus of people yet. Oh no. Oh. But uh, just finish it out really quick. You guys are at 180, correct? Uh, right there at 76. And right on 80 with that uh that stinger right there okay 70 uh, sorry right on 76 here we go and five six five six seven eight <laughs> My biggest comment would be to make sure that we're staying at that forte and then make sure we play that fortissimo, okay? Uh, let's try that one more time from 76. Here we go. And um, make sure that that unison line we have in 79 is nice and powerful because we're all playing it together and it's, a, it's at a forte. All right. All right. That's all we have for this week, but uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, hopefully. So just make so that's Wyatt, Misa, uh, Andrew. Andrew. Uh, oh, but Joe is in a different spot. Andrew, Ty, and Joe. All right. Well, nice to meet you guys. So. Come on, Wyatt.